for the first team who reckon they're just that. Show some respect for Sir Cromerlot! From South Ockenden in Essex, Sir Cromerlot. Snake from a truck wheel hub with a gas-powered flipper and drills, they say. We've seen them before. Drills, frills from the boys of Essex. Hi, we're Team Sucrimalot. I'm Steve, and this is Ray the Thug. This is Sucrimalot. We're back. We're better than ever. We've got a gas-powered lifter this time, so watch out. Don't mess with us. And hoping to show them who's boss. The noisiest bot on the block. Give it up for Plunderbird 5! From Alton in Hampshire, Plunderbird 5. Low, wide, fast, powerful track robot with a hydraulic slicing claw, jaw and lifter. And they say there are self-writing sidewinder missiles too. Yep, they say. As you well know, we are the Plunderbird boys. This is a new robot for a new fight, but it's the same attitude. Roboteers, stand by. So much hype. Plunderbird with the excellent Mike Onslow and Brian Kilburn there with a thumbs up. And Sir Cromelot, what is that on top of that? Ridiculous. Steve Merrill yes, and Ray oh, Tate. Right. He looks frightening. And the house robots involved in this vengeance battle. Shunt, no doubt one of these boy bands will be drummed out by him. And Sergeant Bash, go on, give him a lick of flame, boy. Three. from the right of your screen. So Cromelot down there at the bottom. A nudge and a, and a push, nothing more than that. Plunderbird with the slicing arm. So Cromelot with the lifting fork. Then I get this might even go to the judges. I wouldn't like to be a judge if it did go to them, mind you, because um, they have minders. Just to make sure the boys who came with the Cromelot team make sure the marking's correct. Don't be intimidated, boys. We've got Killerlot we can send in. There's Plunderbird, a little thrust against the Cromelot, and once again, boys, you're all talking no trousers because we've not seen too much action. Plunderbird, it's done getting in underneath Cromelot. To be fair to them, these are two of the best sporting teams we've ever had in Robot Wars, and they've come to extreme to cause fun. <laughs> it's like a great teapot out there, a silver teapot, Sir Cromelot, backing away, and Plunderbird, Showing great driving skill, I'm sure they're impressed. Totally missed Sir Cromelot and just about everything else on the attack, Plunderbird. Are they shaking their head as if to say, are we gonna get out of here? Are we gonna get out all right? Plunderbird is clawed on to Sir Cromelot there and is holding on with the hydraulic slicing claw jaw. It's a two-part lifter jaw. Oh! Is that the sound of the arena, sir? I think it is, and one of the house robots is so bored, it's pressed the quick release button, and both of them are on the edge, and it's Plunderbird that are going to go! Well, they came full of boasts and hype, but it's the Grobelots who have stolen their plunder! Yes! Steve Merrill and Ray Tate are victorious against those two they called the Plunder Girls. a vengeance battle to see who were the biggest showmen on Robot Wars. Plunderbird committed suicide. The winners are Sir Cromelot. Come out, lads. Come out, Plunderbird. Just a minute. A little bit of Anky Panky. It might be a new robot. It's a little bit twitchy. And it was a complete accident it went in the pit. You drove it into the pits, man. I didn't drive it in the pits. That, that, well, OK, it's in the pits, but that, that other piece of junk belongs in the skip as well. Right. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say something? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that Sir Cromelot is £5,000. Plunder Girls is probably £5. Plunder Girls? Plunder Girls? Yes. Yes. They are the 
the Flanagan. If it would have gone to the judges, he would have been disqualified for intimidation, though, with those security guys hovering around there. No, that was there just in case, Craig, if there was a split decision, they were going to convince the judges. Well, all I can say is it's still up a bit, a bit up in the air because they did sort of commit suicide, really, and you didn't really beat them, they beat themselves. Any time you want to come back, not a problem. Don't think so. Ten, ten minutes, do you? We'll be back. They've laid down the gauntlet, lads. It's They've laid down the gauntlet. This might not be the end of it. But for now, please, go hell for leather for Sir Chroma Lawrence. <laughs> well, Chroma Lot won, which means that a fish of the best showman on Robot Wars and Plunderbird can't sink. But there's one thing I'm not. And that's big and bad and mean. So Plunderbird can sing us out of Robot Wars. Extreme. Take it away, boys. Oh, it took six months to build it. When we got there, it won't go. Show. I'm gonna stream it, cool. yeah. We all we love, love our robots, they're, they're shiny and they're clean. clean. But, but when they're in the arena, they're, they're nothing and they're and friendly when we're in the pits but when we're in the arena we smash each other to bits of course we have